Mary, Queen of the World Cathedral, French, Cathedrale Marie Reine du Monde, is a minor basilica in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and the seat of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Montreal. It is the third largest church in Quebec after St. Joseph's Oratory also in Montreal and the Basilica of St. Anne de Beaupré east of Quebec City. The building is 101 metres 333 feet in length, 46 metres 150 feet in width, and a maximum height of 77 metres 252 feet at the cupola, the diameter of which is 23 metres 75 feet. The church is located at 1085 Cathedral Street at the corner of René Lavesque Boulevard and Metcalfe Street, near the Bonaventure Metro Station and Central Station in downtown Montreal. It and the connected Archdiocese main buildings form the eastern side of Place du Canada, and occupies of dominant presences on Dorchester Square. The sacrament of baptism is celebrated in the small chapel. The marble baptismal font is surmounted by an impressive stucco crucifix sculpted by Philippe Ebert. The crucifix is one of the most important pieces of religious sculpture in Quebec. Topic: History The construction of the cathedral was ordered by M.G.R. Ignace Bourget, second bishop of Montreal, to replace the former St. Jacques Cathedral which had burned in 1852. His choice to create a scale model of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome was in response to a rivalry with the Sulpician Order who had been the feudal seigneurs of Montreal, and with the Anglican Church, both of which favoured the Neo-Gothic style instead. The site also sparked controversy due to its location in the western part of downtown, in a then predominantly English neighborhood far from the homes of the French Canadian churchgoers. The first architect, Victor Bourgeau, refused the project after studying St. Peter's, claiming that it could not be reproduced on a smaller scale. At the time, the Holy See and the Papal States were threatened by the nationalist troops of Victor Emmanuel II, King of Piedmont, who was attempting to assert control over all Italy. The undeterred Bishop Borget replied to these events by sending a total of 507 Canadian Zouaves to defend the Papal territories in Italy, whose names are engraved in gold letters on the marble slabs in the cathedral. Their motto is, Love God and Go Your Way. A painting depicting Colonel Athanase de Charette, commander of the Papal Zouaves, was made in 1885 by Lionel Royer. Fr. Joseph Michaud, the chaplain of the Papal Zouave Volunteers of Montreal, was sent to Rome to secretly produce a scale model to work from. Work began in 1875 and the new church was consecrated in 1894 as St. James Cathedral, after St. James the Great, the patron of the parish the church served. At the time it was the largest church in Quebec. It was made a minor basilica in 1919 by Pope Benedict XV. It was rededicated in 1955 to Mary, Queen of the World, by Pope Pius XII at the request of Cardinal Paul Emile Leger. The Pope had proclaimed this title for Mary in his 1954 encyclical Ad Caeli Reginum. Between 1955 and 1960, several restoration works have been executed. 
On March 28, 2000, the cathedral was designated a National Historic Site of Canada. In the last few years, the cathedral's esplanade and narthex have undergone significant reconstruction. The exterior statue of Bishop Ignace Borget was cleaned and restored in 2005. Topic: Notable features. Topic: Exterior statues. Instead of the statues of the Twelve Apostles on the façade of St. Peter's, the front of the cathedral is topped by statues of the patron saints of thirteen parishes of Montreal who donated them, including St. John the Baptist and St. Patrick. All of the statues were sculpted by Alindo Grattan between 1892 and 1898. These statues represent from left to right Saint Anthony of Padua, patron of the Saint Anthony of Padua parish at 1950 Saint Antoine Street West. Saint Vincent de Paul, patron of the Saint Vincent de Paul parish in Laval. Saint Hyacinth. Saint Thomas Aquinas. Saint Paul, Saint John, Saint James the Greater, patron of this very cathedral and its predecessor that was destroyed by fire, the Saint Jacques Cathedral, Saint Joseph, patron of the Saint Joseph Parish in Riviere des Prairies, Saint John the Baptist, patron of the parish of the Saint Jean Baptist Church. Saint Patrick, patron of the parish of the Saint Patrick's Church. Saint Ignatius of Antioch. Saint Charles Borromeo, patron of the parish of the Saint Charles Church in Point Saint Charles. Saint Francis of Assisi, next to the church, there's also a monument for MGR. Ignis Borget. Topic: Historical paintings. The aisles of the nave and the arches in the transept contain painting depicting historical events in the early days of Montreal, called Ville Marie at the time. It contains nine paintings and still three empty spaces. The paintings are. The aforementioned painting of Colonel Athanase de Charette, commander of the Papal Zouaves of Montreal. Work by Lionel Ryder. Marguerite de Uval singing, Te Diem, to children during the fire that destroyed her hospital on May 18, 1765. Work by Georges Delphus. Marguerite Bourgeois teaching her Amerindian pupils in 1694 at the foot of one of the historic towers on ground belonging to the Sulpicians. Work by Georges Delphus. The martyrdom of fathers Jean de Brébeuf and Gabriel Lailment in the land of the Hurons. The Iroquois tortured the Jesuit missionaries, of whom Father de Brébeuf can be seen in the center with his hands tied to a stake. Work by Georges Delphus. Father Barthélemy Vimont saying the first Mass in Montreal on May 18, 1642. Paul de Chomidi, Sieur de Maisonneuve and Jean Mance, the co-founders of Montreal, can be seen attending the Mass. This work by Ernest Laurent was a gift from the French government to Archbishop Paul Bruchesi. The Consecration of the Associates of Montreal's Project 
On February 3, 1641, noble men and women, and priests, who dreamed of founding the city of Ville-Marie in New France, attend a mass celebrated by Jean-Jacques Ollier in the Notre Dame of Paris to pray for the protection of Our Lady for what many considered to be a foolish undertaking work by Georges Delphus. The first Mass celebrated at Riviere des Prairies by Father Denis Yamet on June 24, 1615. Father Joseph Le Caron holds the edge of Father Jamais chasuble. Samuel de Champlain, founder of Quebec City, is in the center. Work by Georges Delphus. The martyrdom of Father Nicholas Veal, seen in the boat, and his disciple Ahuntzik, seen already fallen in the water, by three Amerindians on the rapids at the Sioux au Récolet. Work by Georges Delphus. Jean Mance, co-founder of Montreal, and the nursing sisters of religious hospitalers of St. Joseph tend to a sick child Montreal's first hospital, Hotel Dieu de Montreal. Work by Georges Delphus. Topic. Statue of Mary, Queen of the World In the apse, a statue of Mary, Queen of the World, a patron of the cathedral, can be found. It is made by Sylvia Doust. Topic: The Ciborium. Covering the altar, which is located under the dome, is a neo-baroque ciborium or baldaquin, with twisting columns. It was created in Rome in 1900 by Joseph Arthur Vincent and is a reproduction of the famous baldacchino in the St. Peter's, created by Gian Lorenzo Bernini. It is fully handmade and made with red copper and gold leaf. The angels, garlands and papal insignia were sculpted between 1910 and 1911 by Alindo Grattan. This full work of art was a donation to the cathedral by the Sulpicians. The Bishop's Mortuary Chapel Burial Chapel, completed in 1933, is located on the left of the nave, halfway between the main entrance and the altar in the center. The tomb of Mgr. Borget, an artwork which was created in Rome, is located in the center. The remains of the bishop that lay in a crypt under one of the pillars in the cathedral, were transferred to his tomb on April 27, 1933. The titular bishops are buried on the right-hand side and the auxiliary bishops on the left-hand side. The walls and floors are made of marble imported from Italy and feature several mosaics. The bronze plaque above the altar depicts the St. Peter's in Rome. Since the cathedral was running out of space for burying auxiliary bishops, a second chapel was built next to the original one in 2005. Here an additional 15 vaults have been prepared. Topic. The Chapel of the Assumption This chapel, also known as the Marriage Chapel, is located on the right side of the nave, across from the Bishop's Chapel. This work of art features a wood-carved altarpiece, decorated with gold leaf and framing a painting depicting the Assumption of the Virgin Mary. 
It was made around 1635 at the Benedictine Abbey in Bellelay, Switzerland by a Spanish monk. When the monks were forced to leave during the religious retaliation, the occupying French troops sold all the precious furniture in the abbey. At the beginning of the 20th century, the Austrian architect conservator Rodolf Mesmer, discovered the altarpiece in the Church of Soirce, France and acquired it. In 1994, Bruno Mesmer donated it to the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Montreal. In 1957, Cardinal Paul Emile Leger put the chapel at the disposal of the Order of Malta. The stained glass windows are dedicated to this order. Topic: The Baptistry. A small chapel has been dedicated to the baptism ceremonies. The marble baptismal font is mounted onto a stucco crucifix sculpted by Louis Philippe Ebert. Topic: Great Organ. Built by Cassavant Frères, the organ was inaugurated on September 22, 1893. At that time, it consisted of 56 stops on three manuals and a pedal board. In 1951 the organ required enormous maintenance, after which was decided to rebuild the entire organ. Again, Cassavant Frères was chosen for the job and they added 20 stops and a manual. In 1995–1996, the instrument was restored by Guilbeau Terrian from St. Hyacinth. A few more additions were made so that now the organ counts a total of 93 stops, four manuals and one pedal board. Topic. Texts Several texts in golden letters decorate the inside of the cathedral. Since the building was originally dedicated to St. James the Greater, and it still is, it explains why most of the Latin texts refer to his life. Topic. Text in the nave On the side of the cathedra left hand side, he James, is one of the three apostles whom the Saviour loves the most. In Judea and Samaria he converts many to the Christian faith. Latin is Unis Fuit ex tribus apostolis, quas salvator maxim delexit. In Judea et Samaria, plurimos ad Christianum fidem perduxit. On the side of the tabernacle, right hand side, he also converts some people in Spain, in Jerusalem he is condemned to death. He is the first of the apostles that bears witness to Jesus with his blood. Latin, in Hispania aliquas convert it, Jerusalime capit damnatus est. Primus apostolorum profuso sanguine testimonium Jesu dedit. Topic. Texts in the transepts The texts featured in the transepts are based on Matthew chapter 20 verses 22 to 23 and the brothers James and John asking Jesus to sit besides him, one on his left and one on his right, in his kingdom. On the side of the cathedra, left hand side, and Jesus answering said, "You know not what you ask." Can you drink the chalice that I shall drink? 
They said to him, We can. And he told them, Latin. Respondens autum iesus dixit nesitis quid patatis potestis biber callisum quem ego bibitoris. Sum dicunt, a possumus. Eight illis. On the side of the tabernacle, right hand side. My chalice indeed you shall drink, but to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my father. Latin, calisum quidem meum bibetus sedere autum ad dexterum meam et sinistrum non est meum der vobus sed quibus paradum s apatra mio. Topic: The other texts. These two texts, both based Matthew chapter 16 verses 17 to 19, speak of the vocation of Saint Peter, head of the apostles. These texts can also be found in the nave inside the Saint Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. Inside the cupola. You are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven." Latin. 2 S. Petrus, et super hanc petrum aedificabo ecclesiam meam, et porte inferi non prevalibent adversus eam. Et tibi dabo claves regna silorum. In the chancel and apse. And whatsoever you shall bind upon earth, it shall be bound also in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth, it shall be loosed also in heaven. Feed my sheep. Latin. Quad cumqua ligaveris super terum, erit ligatum eden celis, et quad cumqua solveris super terum, erit salutum et in celis. At the base of the cupola, this text is fragmented into four physical sections. It is based on Revelation chapter 4 verse 8 from the Apocalypse and dedicated to the glory of God. Holy, 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 the Lord, who is, who was, and who is to come. Latin, Sanctus 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 Dominus qui erat qui est qui venturus est. Topic Gallery Topic See also Roman Catholic Marian Churches List of Cathedrals in Canada List of Basilicas in Canada Montreal's other basilicas Notre Dame Basilica St. Joseph's Oratory St. Patrick's Basilica